I would like to bid a shalom to the bride of the Messiah, a shalom to the 144,000, and a shalom shalom to the nation of Israel. For you are the bride of Yahuwah, and Yahuwah is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Shalom. Today, I bring before you a book that I have mentioned before in the past, but the Father brought this back to my attention because it's very important that y'all read this book. Now, at this time, I have not found um, a link where you can read it directly for yourself before you decide to purchase it. Okay. And you're probably wondering, why am I mentioning this book? Because we know there's many books out here that the Father is revealing unto us. Will this book go deeper, my brothers and sisters? This book deals with the Spirit. Okay? Deals with the Spirit of Yah. Um, when you read this book, you will come to find out why the Roman Catholic Church spoke against Mary Magdalene. You will come to understand why there was false books written about her, such as the um, Da Vinci Code, because they do not want you to know Israelites and Gentiles. They do not want you to know the truth, because the Messiah was giving you hints, Israelites, great hints that many of y'all are not grasping. And what I mean is, you're not grasping the spiritual messages. And you're not grasping the spiritual mystery. Which brings us to this first. Let us get this out of the way. So we're not violating any copyright laws. Take this time now to pause your screen. And then let us go to the title page. Here. So the title of this video. <clears throat> Let me think on what should the title of this video be, Father? Hmm. I'm thinking, y'all, what the title of this should be because when you read the gospel or the testimony, let me clear my voice, <clears throat> of Mary Magdalene. A deep thing is revealed if you when you learn about each of the prophets or about the disciples or about the apostles <clears throat> each of them was given a certain task a certain message or something that was not given to the other this is why we have to come in the whole Bible book to see the complete picture picture and when you read Mary Magdalene's testimony, and I got to let you know who Mary Magdalene is. Mary Magdalene is the one, she is the sister to Martha and to Lazarus. She was the one who anointed the Messiah before he was crucified. She is a disciple of the Messiah. And unto her, he had given her a spiritual mystery that was not given to the other disciples. Now, before y'all uh, assume something, because this is what Satan does. He's, he's, he throws stumbling blocks and snares before you, causing y'all to fall in this gender war thing. But when the word taught me, y'all, the word taught me this. It's not about gender. It is about the spirit. And that is what her book is about. It is about the spirit. So I, so what I'm saying to you, Israelites and Gentiles, and whether if you are male and female, do not allow the spirit of pride to come upon you or the spirit of envy to come upon you that would keep you from reading her testimony. A lot of, some of y'all, not a lot, but some of y'all look at gender and you are too quick to assume or you're too quick to judge and do not think that Yah can use anyone, which the whole book of the 1611 gives you two or three witnesses and many other 
witnesses confirming that he has used animals, he has used Gentiles, he has used Israelites, he has used men, women, etc. He has used his creations to be a mouthpiece. Okay, he has used his creation to uh, reveal his messages or his spiritual mysteries. So I'm asking you to unharden your heart and to seek out to read this testimony. Now, I am on a quest to find a link where you can read about her testimony. But I prefer that you get it from this author. Jahani D. Quillen. Because when you read the preface in the book, you will learn that they put their life at risk. Even now, but her writing this book, they put their life at risk because the fourth beast do not want you to hear Mary's testimony. Okay? So I'm still working on the title, but as y'all give it to me as I speak in this video, I, I will release it. But we are in the eighth day from Adam. We are in the 13th day from creation. And today is Sivan, the first day in the Most High Calendar. Okay, it is a new moon day. In the year from Adam, it is 7487. In the year from creation, we are in the 13,487 year. On Satan's calendar, known as the heathen calendar, we are in May the 24th. 2020 AD. But remember, Satan calendar is is against Torah. It does not follow the instruction of Torah. Okay, because we are to use the heavens to tell time. All right. Also on his calendar, his day began on began from midnight to midnight, which is darkness for darkness. For Satan is the father of darkness, and he is the father of lies. However, Yahuwah's calendar begins from sundown to sundown, from light to light. For Yahuwah is the father of light, he is the father of truth. Okay? It is very important that we are keeping a record of time because it relates to the biblical prophecies. For those who have further questions, you can reach me by my email. Also, check the video description box or the pinned comment section for Yahuwah has spoken himself. Okay. He has spoken unto the Israelites and to the Gentiles, which is confirmed by Numbers 11, which is confirmed by Numbers chapter 11 and chapter 12, Joel chapter 2 and Acts chapter 2. Okay. He has spoken, confirming unto you what season we are in, what time we are in. All right. Now let's get back to the book. The Gospel of the Beloved Companion by Jehan D. Quillen, which brings us to this. We can see where to go now. This video will be added to the playlist of the, of, of the Rapture Doctrine, the Eagle Wings, the Saints, the 144,000, and the Marriage Supper of the Lamb. And you will see why as we go through this video. Because what is given unto her will confirm unto you what I'm saying unto you Israelites and Gentiles. What has been revealed in these videos. Again, what the Father has given unto me comes by spirit. I am preaching spiritual things, spiritual messages that many are not touching on. You hear me? Many. Many are still in the carnal. They have not graduated. They have not come up higher with Yahuwah to understand what's really going on. Okay? That is my calling. That is my position in the body. Okay? For I, for I am a, a, a sister unto you, and I am a servant unto Yah. Okay? When you have a chance, I highly recommend that you watch this playlist because a lot of mysteries are being revealed that many are missing. And this come by spirit. You hear me? This come by spirit only. This, not, this does not come by flesh. In other words, man cannot give this unto you, Israelites and Gentiles. It has to be given by the spirit. 
You can go in the Bible and read the Bible all day long, but you can still be blind. It takes the spirit of Yah to unlock your understanding and to open your eyes and your ears. But you have to come to the Father with an unhardened heart. When you read Deuteronomy 5, that is one of the biggest complaints that Yah has against the nation of Israel. Their heart. They have a hardened heart. And because they have a hardened heart, the spirit of Yah cannot do what needs to be done within them. This is why many remain blind and follow many um, false things. But the Messiah gave you a hint, Israelites and Gentiles. The biggest hint. Let me tell you the two biggest hints. He gave you the parable of the ten virgins. And he gave you the parable of the king feast. And this relates to the marriage supper of the Lamb. What we had just learned through the word, Israelites and Gentiles, the word taught us that not everybody's going to be invited. There will be Israelites left out and there will be Gentiles left out. When you go back and read the gospel, look at the message that the Messiah preached unto us. What was the message? He said, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Seek the kingdom. See, many of y'all are missing are missing the assignment, missing the message. And this is why these spiritual mysteries, these spiritual messages is not revealed unto you. This is why some of y'all having a hard time understanding what I'm preaching unto you. Because these things come by spirit. Remember, you have to be born of the water and of the spirit to understand what is written. Okay. So, in the playlist, when you have a chance, I highly recommend you have a chance. Please watch The Rapture Doctrine, The Eagle Wings, okay? That's a part one, part two, and part three. In part three, it is revealed that the Northern Kingdom does have sacred books too that the Most High has given unto them. This is dealing with the ten lost tribes, which relates to the Eagle Wings as well as to many other biblical prophecies that the Messiah said in Matthew 24. Okay? Also watch the mystery of the saints becoming white and the mystery of the marriage supper of the Lamb. Then recently I went ahead and went back and added the 144. Because Revelation give you the hint when these events would take place. And that's all I'm going to say of that. And after today, the book, the, where the discussion of, let me, see, let me go back to my picture. Let me see, can I find it? Of this book will be added to the playlist. Because what the Messiah gave unto Mary, he didn't give it to the rest of the um, disciples, but what he gave unto her, okay? And the gospel of the beloved companion, what he gave unto her will confirm what I'm preaching unto you. And only those who are under the spirit of Yah will understand it. The rest will not. Okay? So, right now, the only place I can recommend for you to go to to have access to this book because I got, because for me, I have found another site, but I'm very uncomfortable because it required you to put your credit card information, even though it say it's free. And I'm, I'm the type of person, if I'm not using it, why would I tell you to use it? Okay. So at this time, I have not found a site that has uh, put this book out there where you can have access to it immediately and check it out before you purchase it. So the only place I have seen that I would recommend at this time would be Amazon.com. Okay. They have it available on the Kindle starting at $9.99. I'm say starting at $9.99. On paperback, it's $19.50. Now they do have used books that are sold. Let me see here. Let me click on it. They do have used books of this that are lesser. Of nine of nineteen dollars and fifty cents. If I see that they have, <clears throat> mm, I see some of the used are even higher. But there are um when you um filter and you do your search, whether it's on Amazon 
or whether it's on eBay, eBay does have this as well. Um, I forgot to mention that. But you can find it a little more cheaper. Now, there are, there are other transliteration of Mary Magdalene. Now, the reason why I recommend, recommend this copy because I noticed how the author stayed close to the language of the Hebrews. And the way it was written, it flows in that manner. Okay? I noticed how she stayed close to it. You have to read her book to understand what I'm talking about. And when I look back, and, it's, and I, I just had to praise Yahuwah. I mean, I, it's amazing how he put this book in my path because, y'all, I was in the library one day and uh, looking for something else, and I came across this book. And I learned in my life that nothing happened by coincidence. I'm telling y'all, between the messengers that he has sent unto me, when, um, when I'm talking about prophets and prophetess, uh, between my dreams, um, even strangers I meet, nothing happened by coincidence in my life. So he's always sending me confirmation on what he has shown to me or what he has taught to me by his spirit. Okay. So, this is the only site, well, besides, okay, let me back it up. I recommend that you go to either Amazon or eBay at this time. If I should find a site that has put up this book by Johanna D. Quinlan, then I'm going to let y'all know. But I know my fellow brethren, some of my fellow brethren, is going to speak against this book. And you're going to see why. Read it for yourself. You, I'm telling y'all. Read this book for yourself. And you will see why they will speak against it. Because it will reveal that they are not operating in the will of y'all. It will reveal they have their own agenda. Okay. And this book will also eliminate a lot of doctrines that you have questions about you know uh, like i said for example many people do not understand revelation 12 and what it means about the eagle wings there has been a great misinterpretation about the eagle wings okay and i'll post this link in the video description box as well so you will have um, let's see what else. It was something else I want to share with you in regards to this book. I do want to say this. If you get a different transliteration, I highly recommend that you compare it to what Johanna had. Okay? The CK to become close. But I do recommend this this form because I believe in my heart the father put this book in my path for a reason and if it's the father will at his appointed time I will share with you what the Messiah shared with Mary that he did not share with the um, 12 disciples again what he shared with her you have to be born of the spirit and of the water to understand what he shared with her. Okay. So a title. Let me see. What would be the title of this? Hmm. Got it. We going this would be the title. Mary Mag, God forgive me because when it comes to spearing, spelling, <laughs> oh, I have to make sure. Mag, the Lynn testimony. They're hitting.
message. Let me see, I'm getting closer, y'all. There's something done with Romans. I know this title's long, so I'm going to find a way to shorten it. But for what I get so far when I hear from the, when I hear the hidden message that the fourth beast, the Romans, do not want you to know. And the complete part of this title is the Gospel of the Blood Companion. The complete gospel of Mary Magdalene and for those who preach about going into the other books because we do have Israelites that do that and some of the Christian apologists that do that you know what I say unto them I'm happy that you're staying out those books because the word of y'all said that only the wise will understand what is written. Wisdom is not given unto you because you're not uh, called by Yahuwah. You're not under his spirit. You are under your own flesh, which means that you're doing your own will and agenda. Therefore, you will come against this book and you will come against the other books. Because you want to want to stay in the 66 books because you want to keep the lies of the Europeans. You want to keep the lies of the full beast church. You want people to believe in a lie when you know it's not the truth. And Yah has revealed his truth and revealing more truth. And pretty soon, because you don't believe in the truth, you will fall for the great deception. Yah will cause it. It will happen as written in the book of Thessalonians and the book of Revelation chapter 16 with the three falls. That great calling, when y'all hear that great calling by the three falls, you will fall for the great deception because you rejected truth. And the only way you won't fall for the great deception, you have to be sealed in the blood of the Lamb. That means you stand for truth and not a lie. So those who want to only stay in the 66 books, as the words say, God give more to those who want more. Okay. So I may keep this title, but that's what I get so far. The hidden message that the fourth beast do not want you to know. All right. Continue to preach the gospel that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Make sure the people receive salvation is written in Romans chapter 10. And baptize the people in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. Shalom.